Hello good day, welcome to our video series on separation processes. This video series is based on binary distillation system, more specifically the use of the Mercatian method. In this video we'll be continuing to construct the different material balances around the distillation column. In this video we will construct the material balance around the condenser, around the rectifying section of the column, which is the top part of the column, as you can see here, and the stripping section that you could also see here. So we'll be constructing different material balances for each system boundary. And this plays an integral role in developing the mercative method and developing certain equations that you would then use to construct the graph within the mercative method. Now the first material balance that we will be constructing is that, or that around the condenser. Now as with any material balance the first thing we do is set our system boundary our system boundary would then be around this condenser as can be shown here with, that is bounded within the green outline and then we can apply our material balance equation input is equal to output this equation was developed from the the standard equation accumulation is equal to input minus output plus generation minus consumption that we then broken was able to broken down into this simpler form based on our system needs um, if you haven't seen the how this is breaking down please check the previous video for for that equation however we'll continue you first must identify what streams are entering the system boundary and the streams that are leaving the system boundary. Um, it can be clearly been shown that the only stream that is entering is the vapor stream that is leaving the top of the column and the streams that are exiting are this distillate product and the liquid that is flowing back into the column. Now utilizing this information together with the information input is equal to output, we can now develop our material balance. Again the first material balance we, we develop would be the total, total balance. So once we develop our total balance, as stated before, input is equal to output. The input stream is the vapor that is leaving the column, G1, which is shown here. And that is equal to the output streams, which are the, and the two output streams in the system boundary is D and also LO. And it's shown here, D plus LO. Now we can further break down this equation to introduce a new term called the reflux ratio. By definition, the reflux ratio is the ratio between the flow rate of the liquid that is going back to the column to that of the distillate that is being removed from the top of the column. So what we will do is continue with the input side so g1 would be equal to d plus l o and what we would do here is multiply l o by the distillate divide and divide also by the distillate this term d divided by d is equal to 1 which makes this mathematical manipulation possible we can now introduce a new term, call it R, 
the reflux ratio and that is equal to LO divided by D. So we can substitute R within the total balance equation and we will get a new equation G1 is equal to D plus R which is LO divided by D let me write R in a different color is equal to R right divided and you, you multiply by D because you have the remaining D that is in the numerator of this term so once we have this we can further simplify to G1 is equal to D we can factor out the the distillate fluid which is D to get 1 plus R and this is the total balance for the system around the condenser this balance is important because we now have introduced the term R into the system that can be useful in many ways as you would see in the for in the videos that will soon come so the next balance that we could do is the material balance for the most volatile component um, this balance is done similarly identifying the input and the output that is entering and en exiting the system boundary so we could clearly see that the the flow rates of the most volatile component that is entering the system boundary is G1 which is the flow rate of the vapor leaving the column the first stage of the column multiply by Y1 which is the mole fraction of the most volatile component leaving the top of the column and that is the only input stream that we have entering the system boundary and this would be equal to the output streams which is the stream that are leaving the system boundary which is the distillate so it would be D multiplied by ZD and ZD is the mole fraction of the most vo most volatile component present and that is added to LO multiply by XO and XO is the composition of the most volatile component that is going back into the column to flow downwards in the column and this essentially is the the material balance for the most volatile component